All right, thank you, Alana. Well, tonight, disturbing allegations of racism and harassment in the Granite School District. Melanie Orr says the incident happened on Tuesday at Bonneville Junior High. She says the assistant principal approached her and said she needed to change her clothes or leave school for the day. Melanie is Cambodian and Bosnian. She says other white students violating the dress code policy were not told to change. Melanie saying she asked the assistant principal if he was doing this to her because she was brown. She says, he said, yes, it is. Melanie's aunt, Dinka, said this was heartbreaking to hear when she got the phone call from her niece. It's hurtful for those who have to deal with that. It's hurtful for Melanie, and it's hurtful for me to know that she had to go through that, to hear that. All right, the assistant principal is on paid administrative leave while the district investigates, but Dinka says he needs to be fired. We reached out to the assistant principal in question but have not heard back, but we did hear from the Granite School District. Tonight, ABC 4's Courtney Johns taking a deeper dive into how dress code enforcement has a history of targeting people of color. She's live in studio with that story. Courtney. Yeah, Glenn, leaders from the NAACP say this isn't the first report they've gotten of dress code discrimination. And as a country, we can do more to stop it. But he could not wrestle uh, because of the braids. And they showed him getting his braids cut off. And when this African-American uh, female said, well, what about this other person and pointed at her? And she said, well, it's actually a different cut. These are just a few examples of dress code discrimination NAACP Salt Lake Branch President Janetta Williams has seen across the country. And I can't really get into the mindset of some of the folks that are doing that. I think it's what we call like the um, explicit bias. The, the, they're seeing these things and they're acting up on it and they have those hidden biases against those students of color. One area she's been working to address is hair texture, promoting the Crown Bill. Crown stands for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair. So this bill will help everybody overall uh, that they're not discriminated because of the hairstyle that they're wearing. Passing the House back in March, advocates say the bill would ban race-based hair discrimination nationwide, something Williams says happens more often than you may think. You may not even get hired because of the style that that person that doing the interview is thinking that it doesn't fit what they want you to fit in. You don't fit in this one little box. Now being considered in the U.S. Senate, Williams says it all comes down to a simple concept. We're just saying that treat everybody equally. Several states have similar laws in place, including Nevada, and Senator Kitchen sponsored a similar bill during Utah's last legislative session, but it did not pass. Back to you.